atenção! Like we look like twinsies in the red. Come on so. now. Come you on. know, it's so funny. I was trying to figure out, and I was looking at old pictures of us. We've been, we <gasps> go back so far. We've been mm -hmm. friends for so long. And when I tell you, I'm so excited you are here. Aww. I am very excited <laughs> that you're here. Look at us. This is us in a movie together. Called, it was called, uh, Guess, Guess Who? Who? Guess and Who. that's me in the white dress. That's Sherry and them and her two titties. Right there, that's me. That? The two boobs. But there, the and there's the Nisi, there's Nisi right there and in the middle with a flower in her hair. We all did a movie together, and we had so much fun oh, nice. doing this movie. It was so fabulous. You know, Paula, I love about you. You are the definition of a working actress. I mean, we have seen you. You've guest starred on so many shows. Mm -hmm. I remember watching, I think it was Spider-Man, and you jumped out the car and said, that's Paula Newsom, that's my friend. Uh, 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 uh. But now, you're not guest starring. You are the lead on CSI Vegas. Yeah. How does that feel? Uh, you know, I, I, it's, sometimes it's hard to believe. I'm but I'm gonna tell you how it happened. I was coming out of Pilates one day, like any self-respecting actress in <laughs> Los Angeles. I was walking out and I looked at my phone and there was like five phone calls, one from like all the agents in the office. I was like, oh bleep, something uh -huh. done happened. Yeah. And they called and they were like, Paula, they want you to be the lead on the new CSI. And I was like, okay, who's they? <laughs> who's they? And next thing you know, yeah, we're doing it. Oh my gosh, girl. Thank you. Thank you. And it's so wonderful seeing you, because I'm like, oh my goodness, this is my friend. And yes. you, you played the head of Vegas Crime Lab. Yeah. You got a big episode coming out yeah. tomorrow. It's kind of amazing. You know, when I got this, it was really important to me to bring along some faces that we hadn't seen in a while. Yeah. And the, the, the guy who created CSI, uh -huh. his name is Anthony Zeiger. Okay. And he pitched me the episode, and, they were, and I was like, why do we call Regina Taylor? Ooh. Y'all remember Regina Taylor up there, right? Regina, Regina Taylor. Taylor, she was back in the, there we go right there, right there. There we go right there, and there's my booty sticking right out. <laughs> you can't help it, girl. What you gonna do, it? it's an asset, they say it's an asset. But, and so they accepted it. CBS, my showrunner was like, yeah, let's do it. And CBS said, let's pay for it. I love it. I love Regina yeah. Taylor. And it's so nice to see her get that love, but you nice. know, it's such a trip. You, you're on TV now. You do yeah. films, but you started in theater. So was okay. your goal eventually to, you know, go from theater to TV? Not really. I'm going to tell you the truth. Because I was, I was having dinner with a friend of mine, Dennis O'Hare. You know that? He's a fabulous actor. You've seen him everywhere. You may not know his name, but yes. he has been in, been in everything. Dennis O'Hare, yes. been in everything. So we were sitting at dinner one time after he'd seen me in this theater, please. And he was like, and I was like, so uh, He was giving me all these compliments. You know, I was like, so what you been up to, Dennis? What you been up to? Uh -huh. He was like, oh, I did this television thing. And I was like, oh, and I you know, being a theater actor. Oh, I said, tell me how much, how much money you make on that? He told me how much money, and I was like, I need to do me some damn television. <laughs> I need to do me some damn television. Oh, like struggle. Mm. Uh -uh. <laughs> it is so funny. I, I remember seeing you, and I loved you, on HBO's Barry. Thank you, And on Barry, you played, I, I'm so jealous, you played <laughs> Henry Winkler's love interest. Girl. I've had a crush on Henry Winkler for as long as I can remember. Get out! I, yes, I have. I <laughs> want to know, what was it like making out with the Fonz? I'm going to tell you. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. Come on now. Come on now. So I'm a black girl from the south side of Chicago. And every once in a while, I will watch me a little happy days. And I will tell you, I never have so ever imagined that I would be lip locking with the Fonz. <laughs> never so ever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's just wonderful. It's just like, even when I met him, I was just like, oh my gosh. I think I did like Hollywood Squares with him. And I was like, He's you the Fonz. He's the Fonz. Oh my goodness. He's the Fonz. So it was just, and it was just amazing being with him and working with him on yeah. the show. It was amazing. I mean, 
He's, a, he's the kindest guy in Hollywood, they say. And it's true, he's a good guy. And it was, it was just fun. Yeah. It's fun. Girl, I'm just, you know, I look at you and I just say, I am so proud of you because you've been out here in Hollywood. You've been working, putting the work in. You have been going, you've gone through it. We've talked. Yeah. And now to see you leading your own show. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, my friend Bevy Smith says, it gets greater later. It gets greater it later. It gets greater later. I love you for it. Thank you. Yo, and, and I want to say thank you for coming on. You know, all you got to do is call me Paula. Thank you, baby. That's it. So Thanks, CSI baby. Vegas airs tomorrow night at 10 on CBS.